today we're running a Firefighter One Academy, doing some training using live fire. The first exercise that we did this afternoon was a engine company responds to a report of a, a structure fire. They pulled the necessary line. Protecting our exposures, things that are around it, uh, was most important. And we've also we also had a tender response with uh, 3,300 gallons of water. One of the things we learned from this event in the life of David that can make our lives more fireproof is just to stop sinning. Now, I know what you're saying. I, you're probably saying exactly what my daughter Peyton said. A few weeks ago, Rhonda was trying to teach my two little boys, and uh, they, she was talking to them about sin. And the boys were asking, what is sin? And so she was ex explaining to the boys what sin is, and in great detail, trying to let them know that we all make mistakes. You know, we all, we all sin. And while she was saying that, Peyton was across the room, and Peyton spoke up and said, what? I'm not a sinner. And, and Rhonda goes, well, no, we're all sinners. And Peyton was so indignant. My little five-year-old daughter said, I am not a sinner. And Rhonda looked at her and said, actually, you're, you're kind of sinning now. You know what Paul says in Romans 6? Uh, we're all sinners. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. But he also says this in Romans 6 when he says, what shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We die to sin. How can we live in it any longer? He tells them that you got, a, you got an opportunity to stop sinning. We got, a, we got to try to do the best we can. You know, we're not perfect. We're not Jesus Christ. We're going to make mistakes. But we got to constantly be working to stop sinning. You see, it all comes down to the choices we make. I was reading an article in National Geographic, and they were talking about this 13-foot Burmese python that swallowed a 6-foot alligator. Now, I had to go see a picture of this thing, and I'm, there's a picture on the screen there for you to look at. But it was amazing to see this python trying to get a hold of this alligator. Now, here's what happened. When the, when the python had swallowed the alligator, it actually split, split the python wide open. Both of them were dead. You ever made a bad choice? You ever bitten off more than you can chew? We make choices all the time. You know, maybe it's a choice to, to get involved with things that are not, you know, healthy. Not, maybe it's drugs. Maybe it's abusing alcohol. Maybe it's a dangerous relationship. Maybe it's premarital sex. You need to understand that those, things can, those choices can really impact our lives. Now, David had made really, really bad choice. David had gone and really lived with the enemy for a year and made friends with the enemy and done something he was not supposed to do. And in doing so, he had made himself more at risk, and he had made his home at risk. When he should have been at home, take care of his family, doing what God wanted to do, he was making bad choices. And we can make good choices. We can stop sinning. I want you to notice something. In your home, you may have holes in your home, mistakes you've made. Listen, you and I together, you and I together can make good choices. And, and unlike David, we can make the kind of choices that don't mess up our homes and don't put our homes in jeopardy. We can stop sinning. Work really hard trying to make good choices so that we don't put our homes in jeopardy from fire. Family Fire Plan will return after these messages. Well, first and foremost, you'll experience God, not a lot of religious mumbo jumbo. Quality worship, good children's programming, and uh, the messages are presented with a lot of energy, but biblically sound and a heavy dose of life application. Meet Genuine Fellowship. They're just always there and always aware of what's going on around you. If they see that you need something, they're just right there to, to help. And just like, yep, this is where I need to be. Discover a genuine experience. It was Mother's Day, and uh, they were saying a prayer, and they said, Father, we you know, ask you to be with the mothers, and this and that. And he says, well, and the fathers too, but it's not their day. And he said that right in a prayer, and I thought, yeah, these people really know what conversation with God is about. It's not put on, it's not formal. Hi, I'm Aaron Chambers, and I'd like to welcome you to Journey Christian Church. If you're in the Greeley area and you're looking for a church to attend, I hope you'll come and visit Journey Christian Church. Or if you're online, you can check us out at www.enjoythejourney.us. I would really like to meet you. And remember, enjoy the journey, but don't enjoy it alone.